I want to ask you something. What if Elon Musk was a woman? What if Elon Musk was this black woman? Elon Musk is considered one of the greatest minds of our lifetime. But what if he was a woman named Gladys West? Because see, Elon Musk would not be worth hundreds of billions of dollars to this day. We wouldn't have SpaceX, Starlink, Tesla. We wouldn't have any of that without Gladys West. Just a poor black girl born in 1930s in rural Virginia to share Harper parents. Now we've heard of Galileo, the father of astronomy, Isaac Newton, the father of calculus and the man who discovered gravity and created calculus as a way to explain it. We have Einstein who figured out a lot of our gravity, the theory of relativity, and we have Gladys West. Now why is she so important in this conversation? Her math and her computations and understanding and explanation of the way gravity and tidal forces work on our planet was the necessary link for engineers to create GPS. Because we need to understand the way the, the planet is shaped. It's not round, it's more elliptical. And so some of their GPS calculations can be off by more than 100 feet. Now they're off by less than a foot, thanks to Gladys West. Now, Gladys West grew up really poor on a farm. She did not want to work on a farm forever, and her mom said education is the key. She was the valedictorian in her high school, got her math degree, from Virginia State University, a historically black college. She got a master's in public administration, or master, sorry, master's in math. Then she got a job teaching while obtaining her master's in public administration for the University of Oklahoma. Now she had sent out several job applications to government agencies she wanted to work for. <coughs> and she only heard back from one, which is called Dahlgren in rural Virginia, which is the Naval Surface Warfare Center. Now at the time, we had the Brown versus the Board of Education, but Virginia wasn't complying with it, okay? There was still segregation, the KKK was rampant, and racism was prevalent in 1950s Virginia. And here's a 20-something year old single black woman who's a math teacher that applied for the US Navy. She didn't answer their call because they, she was, just knew they would turn her down once they discovered her race, right? Well, she just ignored it. They called back and said, we want you. The Navy didn't care that she was a black woman. They just wanted her mind. They saw her potential. And boy, what potential. Now, I could spend an hour telling you about all her accomplishments in math and science, but she had no computer experience. She did math by hand. She created algorithms to interpret the data that her computations had created. This is so mind blowing and so far above most of our intellect, it's not even funny. This woman is, is incredible. She's one of the greatest minds in American history. She worked for 42 years for the Department of the Navy. Now she was well respected among her coworkers, but the US Navy is guilty, just like the NASA was, of the hidden figures. She is one of the original hidden figures. 42 years she devoted her life to this country and all the, the weapon systems she worked on, all the space systems, enough so that in 2018, she was inducted into the Air Force and Space Museum and Hall of Fame. She was recognized all over Great Britain and by their parliament. She's recognized by our Congress and the Pentagon, President Obama. There's been a lot of news stories in the last five years about her. She's still alive, doing well. She doesn't do interviews anymore, although I would give anything to sit down and have a milkshake with this woman just to have a conversation. She's very sweet and grandmotherly. And when asked about her lack of recognition over her life, she said better late than never, and maybe this will help other women of science get publicity and recognition for what they did. It's a very humble woman. Now here's the one thing I found amazing. They said, so do you use GPS? She said, no, I still use a paper map to keep my mind sharp. So. What a great woman. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And have a great day.